Microsoft tries to give us a variety of tiles on the default start screen. There's nothing wrong with any of them. In fact, they might just introduce us to an application or feature that we didn't know Windows had. But often, we want to remove tiles that refer to applications that we don't personally use or at least don't want to have on the start screen. We also might want to add tiles for things that we do use on a regular basis. If we want to completely remove a tile, all we have to do is right click on it. So taking our default screen that we're seeing here, and without offense to anybody, because I know somebody's going to be upset, let's just pretend for now that right about in the middle of the screen, we want to get rid of the sports tile. If we right click, it displays the apps bar at the bottom of the screen. We will notice that one of the options we have, as a matter of fact, the very first option, is to simply unpin from start. This is going to remove the tile, but it does not remove the program. The program is still on our computer, and we can simply put the tile back if we choose to do so. This is different from uninstall. If we choose to uninstall, it not only removes the tile, but it also deletes the program from the computer. And in that case, it will actually ask us, are you sure you want to uninstall? So it isn't a very scary thing. They have those safeguards in place, but unpinning and uninstalling are two different things. We're simply going to get rid of the tile from the start screen by clicking Unpin from Start. You'll notice that it disappears and everything else in that particular group just kind of slides up to take its space. That's pretty easy. But now the harder question, or at least what people think is a harder question, how do we add tiles? In order to add a tile, we need to have something to refer to. There are many ways to find things on a Windows 8 computer, and we'll be talking about search in a different video. But for now, let's do this the easy way. The easy way is to simply right click on a blank part of the screen. So with my cursor in the blank area that we just created by deleting that other tile, I'm going to right click. When we right click without selecting a tile, we notice that there aren't any options on the application bar. But we do still have an entry on the far right that you may not have noticed before. It's called All Apps, and it is just what it sounds like. While the start screen gives us a lot of tiles for things that we use most often, all Apps gives us a list of all of the applications available on our computer. Now there is a ton of stuff here, and I will certainly have some things installed that you will not, but we get the basic idea. This is one of the examples of where we can scroll left and right because not all of these things are showing up on our screen. So I'm going to use my mouse wheel, and I'm rolling it towards me in order to scroll to the right. You could also swipe with your finger. When we get to the category called Windows Accessories, we see an option for a calculator. If we right click, just like a tile, it brings up the application bar. And we can move to the very first option and say, pin to start. Now we need to get back to our start screen and I'm going to do that by pressing the Windows key on my keyboard. And if we look all the way over to the right side of the screen, the calculator tile has been added. This means we now have quick and easy access to the calculator application for anything that we may wanna do that requires a little extra calculating power. If we can find the application in our list, then all we have to do is create the tile by clicking on the option that's appropriate. The option from the apps bar to pin apps to the start screen is not a new feature. It was available before, it's just in those previous versions, we were pinning things to the start menu, not the start screen. In many ways, the start screen is like previous versions of Windows, but then again, it's so very different too. At the moment, we know that we can personalize the start screen by removing the tiles that we don't want, and adding tiles for the applications that we do.